All right, take two. Um, who ants? This is Dawn from Aurora Dawn. Thank you, lovely witches, for stopping by my channel. Uh, I have something I want to talk to you about. I'm outside on my deck, and it's just a gorgeous morning. I thought I'd spend a moment with you discussing something that has been on my mind. As you know, everybody's losing their minds right now with, you know, what Trump is doing and Black Lives Matter and COVID-19 and, oh, we forgot about the, the murder hornets. What's going on with them? <laughs> and then we have this dust storm. Oh, boy. Okay. Don't say it. Don't say it because you're going to make it happen. You know, no. What's next? No. Don't say that. Okay. All right, so I want to talk to you about something about being addicted to rage and um, are you willing, this is a question that I've asked myself several times and I keep asking myself to keep myself in check. Are you willing for your opinion to be wrong? It's a very simple question. If your reaction is well, what if your opinion, are you willing for your opinion to be wrong? If you're throwing it back at me then you, you're guilty, okay? You are too emotionally attached to your opinion. So if I said something like, oh, the, the COVID-19 numbers, infection rate is going way up right now because everybody's running around without a mask and, and not social distancing, what do you feel right now? Are you feeling like, yeah, well, that's not right. The, those numbers are inaccurate, fake news, and you get emotionally uptight. That's what I'm looking at, not what am I saying and what are you saying in response. How do you feel? Because I could say the opposite. Well, the, the tests are inaccurate and, you know, a lot of people didn't get tested. So we don't really know the numbers. And what if the face mask really doesn't do anything? Now, how do you feel? Okay, now the other side is going, ah, freaking out. That's what I'm looking at. How emotionally attached are you to your opinion? Are you willing to be wrong? And if you are willing to be wrong and you process your emotions so you're not emotionally attached to your opinion, then you can hear the other side. Then you can truly, genuinely listen. And that's what we need right now. If we don't listen, we will forever be in division between each other because we're not willing to listen. If you're, this is from Alan Alda, I listened to um, an interview with him and he said, if you're, not with, if you're not willing to be changed by the other person, you are not listening. What we need now is to listen because we'll never get out of this. We'll continue to be uh, Hatfields and McCoys. We're always, you know, um, shooting at each other, fighting. And after a few generations, they don't remember what they're fighting for. So we got to stop that. We've got to process the, your emotions. I've got to do that. I do that all the time and recognize that I don't know everything. And there is a lot of ambiguity around the, what's going on. The, the authorities have been contradictory and there's information that comes out. Can you trust it? Is this a whistleblower, but they're not going through channels, so maybe they're just making it up to, for sensation reasons? I don't know. And it can, this stuff, this emotional uh, rage and upset, it can put a division between friends and family, and there's so much toxic energy. Process your emotions. Process your emotions so you can be unbiased and so you can be open and listen to your friends who have an opposite opinion. Listen to the news that has information that goes in, in contradictory, uh, is in contradiction to what you believe, so that you can make a more informed opinion of what is happening, okay? If we don't do this, I'm afraid we're gonna continue on. It's gonna make it harder. It's just gonna make it harder, okay? So I love you all, and I want you to be happy. I want you to um, you know, move forward and grow while we're doing in this very pressurized situation. Everybody's emotions are very high. I want you to process your emotions and be at peace with what's happening. Yeah, it's crappy. I know. I know it's crappy. 
but we can be at peace during it and learn our lessons and grow from it and evolve and become better people, okay? So, um, the sun is coming up. Let me see. And here's the front yard. The bunnies went away. Okay, I'm still in my pajamas. Ha ha ha. Don't tell anybody. I'm going to work in my pajamas. Yes, I'm still working from home. Yay. Okay, I love you all. Thank you so much for watching. Leave me comments on what you think. And do something today, very, very important. Do something today that brings you joy and makes you feel good. I love you all. And until next time, blessed be.